Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you, are you in a bad mood? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim or because I'm a Korean or because I am a revert Muslim? I've been waiting, I've been hurting, cause I've been falling, I need your help. Okay, so I don't want to mention who it is, but I know some people attack me now. Why? Uh, uh, excuse me, it's me. It's me, Christian Prince. Uh, <clears throat> uh, why you don't want to mention who it is he? Uh, or is he or he is whatever you are saying uh, uh, Kim I'm really shocked with your answer I ask you why your prophet killed Christians what do you say to me scared are you in a bad mood are you scared are you in a bad mood are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Because whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What's what's wrong with you? Are you scared? Obviously, you are the one who's terrified. Because you are terrified, you don't know what to say. Otherwise, why you are saying to me, are you scared? Are you admitting that Islam is scary? Oh, you remind me, your prophet, he said, that I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month. So you are admitting that this is who is your prophet. He is a terrorist. <clears throat> and you know that Islam is scary. So the first question come to your mind is, oh, are you scared? Are you uncomfortable? Are you worried? So you yourself you admitted that because your prophet is a terrorist and now you are following a terrorist prophet you assume right away that the christian prince is afraid for now kim is in korea and he joined the religion of the terrorist prophet otherwise why you said are you scared look what your prophet said i was victorious by terror between two brackets, this is the Muslim translation of a frightening my enemy from a distance of one month. Do you see how nice your prophet is? One month away, people are terrified because he's a very peace for a prophet. So, what what uh, what came he said to me in the beginning of the video? What what? Because I am Muslim. Are you in a bad mood? Are, are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? No, no. I think the Korean government will be uncomfortable now and they will be watching you because as we knew, those who convert to Islam, they practice terrorism most of the time. Especially you are a convert because convert, they go into practice of real Islam more than the real Muslims who they are. I mean, the Muslims who they are born of a Muslim family. So maybe you are saying uh, Korean are worried because now there is one of them he joined Islam and he might do something bad like what your prophet did when he slaughtered more than 900 Jews in a park like this the one behind you huh he gathered one 900 Jews and he killed them all and there was a woman she was laughing because she lost her mind for seeing her family being slaughtered the prophet companion he killed her he put his sword in her stomach do you think she was uh, scared do you think she was uncomfortable what do you think it was the reason for this woman she's laughing and she was killed hmm kim you are a genius I cannot explain how genius you are. Hmm. Tell us more. 
or because I'm a Korean or because I am a revert. Oh, because I'm a Korean. Suddenly now he would accuse us that we hate Korean, you see? You see how filthy they are? They want to play the race card. They want to play, the, he want to play victim. We ask you questions about Islam. Okay, you became a Muslim. Can you answer those questions? All this drama because you are trying your best to avoid answering the questions. Tell me more. Muslim. Why? Why are you scared? Because I'm a Muslim. Hold on, hold on. Such a music, we need a bad, nice background for it. I mean, we cannot play such a nice song without a real background. Explain Islam very well. I mean, we cannot, uh, we cannot just put, uh, put such a song like this. You know? <clears throat> You know, I mean, hello, how you, uh, why, we, we need a nice background, brother. Uh, brother, I'm not sure what background you want me to show you. Uh, do you want me to show you uh, the followers of Muhammad burning people alive? Or you want me to show you uh, Christians being slaughtered just because they are Christians? Or you want me to show you burning churches and killing Christians? Or you want me to show you... Uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, hanging people from their legs and from their from their neck. I don't know. I'm trying to find a picture which is not too much scary. Uh, but uh, can you find something not really scary? I mean, this is the cult and the garbage of Muhammad. You know. Okay, I will choose something not scary. You know, a brother. And now we can put in the background your music. I don't know which one of them is Kim. Is that Kim? Where is Kim? Kim, uh, Kim is uh, because he's from Korea. He's very good in taking pictures. And uh, Kim, in order to avoid answering the questions about his prophet slaughtering people and killing people with no mercy, he play for us some music. And what the music say? Uh, show us Kim, please. Uh, go ahead, uh, Kim. Play the song for us. Because I have a news for you about this song. I've been waiting. I've been hurting. Because I've been falling. I need your help. Okay, hold on. You're human? Don't you know, Kim, that your prophet, he says, Christians are animals and Jewish are animals and those who they are not Muslims are animals? So you are saying to us, you are a human, but we are not a human? You want to play victim, but the fact it is Islam who call others animals, cattle, isn't it the Quran says that the Christians, the Jews, non-Muslims, all of them, they are the same as the cattle? In chapter 7, verse number 179. I'm a human. I am hurting. Why you hate me? You made me crying. You made me dying. Why you hate me? You know, Kim, you are joining the terrorist Muhammad and we are the ones hurting you? You are joining a Muslim, uh, sorry, a prophet supposedly, who say Christians and Jews and non-Muslims are pigs and monkeys and they are nudges. And we are the one is hurting you. Uh, tell us more, Kim. I cannot explain how much you are right. I mean, that's it. Everybody now, he knew that you are a victim. Tell us more, Kim. Okay, so I don't want to mention who it is, but I know some people... Christian Prince, Christian Prince, okay. ...will attack me now. Why? Because I'm Muslim. Because I'm Muslim, they mock me, curse me, and insert me. You are a big fat liar. I never curse you. I'm not mocking you. I'm, I'm showing Islam what it is. If this is a mockery for you because you look stupid, I agree. You look stupid. What I can do? I cannot make you look smart. So, and where we curse you? 
In fact, you are the one who curses us five times a day every time you pray. For those who do not know, when Muslims they pray Al Fatiha five times a day, they say, Oh, please, Allah, don't make us the same as the Christians or the Jews, the, the, the lost Christians and the cursed Jews. This is in chapter 1, verse number 7. And you can go or read any interpretation for this verse. It's about the Christians and the Jews. Oh, Allah, don't make us the same as those Christians or those, you know, who they are Jews. Let me show you the interpretation so they will not say we are making things up. So, Kim, he joined a religion which cursing Christians and Jews five times a day, and yet he is claiming that the Christians are cursing him. Oh Allah, Allah, don't make us the same like those Jews or those Christian Allah. Do you see it? This is the Sirah Jalalain. Do you see it? So he joined a religion which is cursing us and he claimed that we are the one who is cursing him. Kim now five times a day he cursed the Christians, he cursed the Jews. He said, Allah, please don't make me like the Christian, the lost Christians, and don't make me the same as the cursed Jews. Hmm? Do you see it? Do you see it? You join a hateful cult, and now you are playing victim in order to get support of people because you have no answer. We ask you why. You say, why? Are you scared? Why your prophet want to kill the Christian? Why? Are you scared? Why the prophet, he says, beat your wife? Why? Are you scared? So let us make it simple. If we ask him the following question, and those who will edit the video, feel free to edit it in the way you like. My first question for you, Kim. Why your prophet he ordered your dad to beat your mom? What came will say in the Quran chapter 4 verse number 34? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? If we ask him, why your prophet have sex with six years old girl? What came will answer? He will give you a very strong answer. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? If we ask him why your prophet he said that the three things interrupt a Muslim prayer a dog and the women and a donkey what Kim will say are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim perfect answer if we say to Kim why your prophet he says if I became victorious I will cleanse all the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula which means I will kill every single one of them what Kim will say scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim or if we ask him why the prophet he said that women have have half a brain and most of them they will go to hell he will say are you in a bad mood are, are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim if we ask him why your prophet he said that in the heaven i will make the private part the penis of Kim endless what Kim will say are you scared are you in a bad mood are you stop I'm scared I mean you will have an endless penis I mean I cannot even fight with anyone with such a penis man you can hit me from far away even if I live in Japan and you live in America it's endless hello are you scared so if we ask Kim why your God he said that uh, uh, as an example uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about ethical stuff like it's okay for Muhammad to flirt with his own son in her house when she is married What the answer of Kim will be? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Because I am Muslim uh, Very convincing. I mean, I got all the answers I want what is left So if we ask him, I'm just asking you an easy question by the way I'm like I'm not I'm not making it hard on you, you know, so if we ask Kim why the Quran say uh, that the christians and the muslim uh, and, and jews and hindus etc they are nudges they are unclean filthy what kim will say are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because i am muslim or because i'm a korean oh no the, the korean away you have nothing to do with the korean my friend you are an idiot so look at this the coward in order to uh, to answer anything we say to him he want to play victim 
So we would cry, <laughs> you know, like, okay, when people, they, they are laughing at you because we did not threat you and we will never do that. And we are Christians who Jesus still said, love your enemy. So for me, I don't hate you and I will never hate you. I feel sorry for you. You are just a stupid idiot. And because you have no answer and obviously you converted to religion, you have nothing to do with it and you have no idea what it teach. And this is why you do not know what to say to me. I mean, at least bring some Muslim with you to help you. Okay, I want you to do this, Kim, if you are really brave, if you know what you are talking about. What about you answer every one of them and you can contact all those donkeys who they are visiting you from London. I, as an example, I saw the friend of Mimi Hijab who don't dare to debate me next to you in a video. Maybe he can help you, brother. And both of you, you can call me and maybe Mimi can join your sister Mimi and you call me live and we will have a conversation. But none of you can answer. So you cannot answer and in order to avoid answering, you play victim. How stupid of you. And then you play music for me. But isn't it your prophet? He said that the one who play music, he will go to hell and Allah will make him a monkey. Let me introduce to you, Mr. Kim, the future monkey. <laughs> you're playing for me songs don't you know that your prophet he said that Allah will turn you into a monkey and into a pig and is your prophet speaking those who play musical instrument and those who and those who have girls are singing anyone if you do any of those Allah will to, to, you know will turn you into a monkey and a pig So if we ask Kim, Kim, do you agree with the prophet that the one who play music, by this uh, Kim, by the morning tomorrow, we will find all Korean turn into be pigs and monkeys. And not only that, all the Indonesian, and not only that, all the Arab, and me too. <laughs> but you know what? Kim, he is the one who have the answer. If we ask Kim, did your prophet say is if you play music, and a music instrument and do singing Allah will turn you into a pig and a monkey Kim he have the answer he will say to you are you scared are you in a bad mood are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim uh, no no I'm not you know I'm afraid that because Allah will make you a pig now I, I, I want to go and visit Kim at home and I look at the door and instead of finding Kim I will find a monkey because as I know you used to sing and now you are playing a music in the video, which means making it more horrible. And you're a prophet, as you see, he said, those who sing and those who play music, Allah will turn them pigs and monkeys. Nice to meet you, uh, Mr. Kim. By the way, don't forget, please, to prove to us that Muhammad is a true prophet and he is telling the truth. To take a picture before and after, because as you see, until now, we don't believe in this garbage. But if you, my, may, may Allah... Keep his promises and his prophet said those who play music and those who do singing Allah will make them pigs and monkeys so if Allah is a true God by the morning tomorrow you will be a pig or a monkey choose one which are whatever you like I think maybe you like to be a monkey you know because I see you between the trees so Allah will make you a monkey you post video in YouTube and say Alhamdulillah I became a now a monkey and this is the proof that the prophet is telling the truth so why you are playing music for me Simply because you are an idiot. You do not know what Islam is about. And what this is in the music. Because I'm a human. Do you love me? What is this? You, you did not forget about your previous dream, right? To be a singer where nobody joined your party. So now you think you can do that here? Okay, tell us more. Or because I'm a Korean. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Let's go from where he sat in the, in the seat. Yeah, he sat here in the seat. What do you want to say to us in the seat? Because, you know, people who sit in the seat, usually they speak wisdom. This is the same seat where Buddha, he sat in it. So look, he will speak wisdom now. I'm, I'm sure something new will happen. Okay, so I don't want to mention who it is, but I know some... It's me, it's me, it's okay. You don't even have the courage to say my name. Shame on you. Anyway, it's me, Christian Prince. Go ahead. People attack me now. Why? Because I'm Muslim. Because I'm Muslim, they mock me, curse me, and insert me. And they even insert God and Prophet Muhammad. 
stop you see I, I did not curse I did not curse you I did not you are, you are just a liar but we are cursing God and we are cursing insulting Prophet Muhammad so you're a prophet he called us in the Quran we are nudges it's okay for you right it's okay hey, by the way I saw you you have a video says I gave the Quran to my mother did you tell that your mother that in the Quran the Quran say that she is nudges which means she is filthy she is like the sewage chapter 9 verse number 28 did you did you show your mom that did you show her the picture where it says no go zoom brother what is the picture for no go zoom here we go did you say did you say to her because mom you are filthy according to Islam so we have a sign in the street of Saudi Arabia it says only Muslims because this is a holy clean cities and you my mother you are a pig and you are a monkey for Allah did you say that to her I want to give my mom the Quran yeah your mom she don't understand anything there so you can fool her right shame on you shame on you and he was speaking by the way specifically to the Christians saying that they are uh, actually we will talk here about uh, uh, about the hatred but let us leave this one for the second sentence okay. go ahead Kim come ahead you know I think this uh, this uh, uh, this seat you are sitting in is giving you a lot of wisdom okay continue brother this way upon him because I don't I'm Muslim why do you they are insulting the Prophet because you are a Muslim I mean do you see the connection guys we 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 don't insult the prophet we say who he is your prophet is a rapist he's a killer he's a child molester he is a criminal he is a gang this is in islam i just showed you he said in the quran in the hadith i am being victorious by terror the quran says he went to his own house his own uh, son uh, house and he flirted with the wife okay uh, hold on we have we have someone uh, saying why you are focusing in a young Muslim convert focus in the knowledgeable one we focus on everybody and what is hurting you name for me one name who you claim you call him big I did not make him shish kebab who Zakir Naik you run away from me Mimi she, she became she became sister Mimi who who who's the big ones give give, give them to me <laughs> So look what this Muslim he said to Kim. He gave a message to Kim. He said to Kim, Kim, you are an idiot. And Christian Prince is focusing on you because you sound stupid. Shame on you, true post. You are insulting your brother in Islam, saying that he's a stupid, right? You are saying, okay, I'm focusing on him because he's stupid. Well, my friend, no. All of you have no answer. And his stupidity, it's because Islam is stupid. So try something better. Are you scared? Okay. You betray Christian. Why are you on a first way? Why did you fall into Satan's temptation? And they said, why do you use Islam to get money and your fame? Well, did I make such a big mistake because I'm being a Muslim? But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, this is guys. He took this religion just to get peace. Why? You don't have peace before? You were living in a terrorist country before, like, you know, yeah. like, what do you mean you get peace? How you can get peace by following a man, he said, I've been ordered to kill all mankind. All mankind. To kill them. Here the translation, they say to fight. Fight here coming from the word uqatil, which means kill. Qatala, yaqtul. I've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say there is no god but allah and there is no terrorist prophet but muhammad so you join this guy who been ordered to kill all mankind to gain peace you know what if jesus said i've been ordered to kill all mankind until they say jesus is god hmm? He did not say that, right? I commanded by Allah to kill all the people until they testify that there is no true God except Allah and no filthy prophet but Muhammad. 
and came. He just answered us. He joined Islam because he want to get peace. And how came we get peace now? By killing Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas. Isn't it your prophet order you to do so? In the Quran chapter 9 verse number 29. Kim, you did join the right place. The right religion, brother. Perfect religion. I mean, what do you want more? Religion, all of it about peace and love. Saying that there is people who they are not clean just because they are Muslims. Chapter 9, verse 28. Verse number 29, it says, O oh Muslims, go and slaughter all the Christians. Unless they pay your money, they can live. <laughs> and you have to insult them and you have to brought law. Do you see it? A Muslim, he have to spit in the face of every Christian when he see in the street. So, what came he said to us? He joined Islam because he want to get peace. I think maybe he meant peace of terrorism. Why why you join Islam? Why? Mistake because I'm being a Muslim. But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. But I'm still moved by people because of my choice. For me, this is not a fun thing. No, no, hold. We skip that, huh? Keep that part. But I just took this religion to get peace and happiness in my mind. But right, right. Okay, so Kim, are you going to follow and practice what your prophet order you, or you are just a fake Muslim who make an account in YouTube so you can get millions of subscribers and you get tens of thousands of dollars from YouTube because of the view of the Muslims? Which you said in your own video that only five percent they see your video from 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 Korea. Hmm. Is it this your video here says only 5%? Now let us see. Actually, I will increase the, the, the view of you from Korea, by the way, because everybody want to laugh at you. This is your video saying that 5% only from Korea, they view you. I will make it 100%. Uh, Just wait. I mean, every single Korean will be dying laughing at your lies. And as long as you join Islam, because you want to get a piece of peace, Islam is peace, as you know. And the Quran and the Hadith, the Quran chapter 9 verse 29 says, you have to humiliate the Christians if you see them in the street. And your prophet in the Hadith, he said, if you meet a Christian in the street, you have to spit in his face and force him to walk in the sewage. Is that the peace you are talking about? I want, see, I want to see, you know, why Muslims don't practice this in Korea? Right? Because they cannot, they are a little tiny minority. There's uh, how many thousand of them? But they did that to us in the Middle East for centuries. Force our grand, grand, grandfather to walk in the sewage. They torture them. They took their property. They raped their women. This is Islam. Abu Harir reported that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, said, don't give the people of the book greeting and force them to the North Narrow Alley. Actually, translation here is not uh, true. Uh, true. Let us see a different one. Hmm. Let us see this one. If you meet them in the street, you know, do not initiate salam. Don't say assalamu alaikum, peace to the Christians when you meet them in the road and if you meet any of them in the road force them to go to the sewage the Norwest alley Norwest alley here is the open sewage in the old days we used to have a sewage open in the street next to the where people walk so water dirty water from the houses go out in the street so a muslim a good muslim is the one who practice islam and what islam teach if you see a christian a jew walking in the street you spit in his face and you force force him to walk in the sewage actually there's videos in youtube they explain to you how in the time of, of of the caliphate a christian he is not even allowed to ride his donkey facing the street he have to face the 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 the, the, the back of the donkey imagine you are you are in the top of a donkey turning your back to the, to the to the front of the road you are not allowed just to humiliate you and this coward he is saying to you such a thing.
Uh, somebody saying your family being tortured and forced to work. I'm not talking about my family. I'm talking about history, my friend. Uh, you know, we are the Arab Christians. They took our land. They they took our all the big churches in the the big mosque in the Middle East. They used to be churches. They conquered the land and they made the mosque. And if you don't believe me, go and visit Hagia Sophia. If you don't believe me, go and visit Iraq. If you don't believe me, go and visit Jordan. If you don't believe me, go and visit Syria. If you don't believe me, go and visit Israel. Go, go to Egypt. All the biggest mosques are churches. They force us to leave them. And they took our property from us. And then this idiot is playing victim that he is joining the religion of peace. As long as you are a person who joined religion of peace, what do you think about a peaceful way? The prophet he practiced. I want to show you as an example. Your prophet he used to cut hands and feet and legs. Do you like to practice that? He used to put nails in the eyes of his enemies. The Muslim will say to you, "Oh, those people they killed the shepherd, so the prophet he was punishing them." This is not punishment. This is torture. Kill the one who killed. Why you are putting nails in their eyes? And he not only nails, he hid the nails in fire. Imagine how peaceful. I imagine Kim next to his prophet Muhammad, and he is heating nails and putting it in the eyes of a guy like this, the one in the ground. Do you see him? Kim will do it because he's a good Muslim now. He want to practice Islam. The prophet will teach him. Kim, are you going to say you will never do that? Why? Are you ashamed of your prophet? Kim, do you like to cut hands and legs? What do you think, Kim, about cutting hands and legs? Uh, Kim, come on. If I ask Kim, what do you think about the Quran saying that the punishment for those who do mischievement and don't believe in Islam is to cut their legs and cut their feet? What Kim will say? He say, this is nice. This is peace. I love it. I enjoy watching it. For sure, Kim will enjoy it. Kim, he watched a lot of terrorist movies before, maybe, or maybe horror movies before. And Kim, obviously, he liked horror. This is why he joined Islam. This is the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 33. It says, the only reward for those who make war upon Allah. By the way, how you make war upon Allah? Me right now, I'm making war upon Allah. The punishment of me is cutting my hands, cutting my feet, putting nails in my eyes. This is, you see it? What is the punishment? To cut their hands and feet from each side. Do you see it? Kim, Kim, I'm so happy for you because you did join the religion of Islam, brother. And now Kim, he can start practicing his best dream. Start cutting hands and feet. Kim, do you like Sharia law to be practiced, which is the law of Allah in Korea? So every Friday, Kim, we can see a bunch of people losing their hand and their feet. But remember, if we ask Kim, why your prophet ordered to cut hands and feet, Kim? Kim, he will say. Scared? Are you in a bad mood? What? What, what, what? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? What about we say because I'm going to cut hands and feet? Anyone who hear this now that you are going to start cutting hands and feet, you will be scared, including your mom. Maybe your mom in the morning she wake up, she find that she have no feet. I forgot that Khalid al Walid, he killed a Muslim and he cooked him. He cooked him. You believe it? I forgot to tell you that the Azhar University, they have a book teaching how to eat a Christian and how to eat an apostate. They say that an apostate is a Muslim who became, uh, who left Islam. Uh, uh, you have to cook him before you eat him. But if he is a Christian, you can, uh, actually, no, sorry. If he is an apostate, you can eat him without cooking him. But if he is a Christian, you have to cook him because he's dirty. Hello? What's wrong with you? Hmm.
And look, guys, look how the Muslims are upset. For me, well, someone saying, oh, you are now we are going to make more people focus on him. Exactly. We want more people to focus on the lies and how Muslim they use such a stupid kid to lie to you. And this is what makes you upset, Mr. Abdul. Shame on you. You have no answer. So, Kim, what else? What else do you want to tell us? After you sit in the chair and you play victim and you play music for us. I like your music, by the way. Are you so angry? But why are you so angry? Why? Did I scare you? See? Or did I threaten you? Uh -huh. I still don't know why you're so... I like it when you jump like a monkey because remember the hadith says those who play music they will turn to be a monkey. So look like you are training yourself. Isn't the hadith says that those who play music Allah will make them pigs and monkeys and you are jumping already mashallah alhamdulillah it's a miracle of Allah already so it's happening look like it's happening already okay tell us more so angry but yeah I don't want to blame you and I even don't hate you I stop you don't hate me obviously you are not a Muslim the Quran said that you should hate every single Christian and Allah himself, he have a duty to spread hatred between the Christians. If we ask him, Kim, why Allah in the Quran, chapter 5, verse 14, said, I will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the judgment day. What Kim will say? Are you scared? Are you uncomfortable? Are you worried? Oh, no, you know what? I cannot do it like you, to be honest with you. Huh? I, 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 I can. So, Kim, your God Allah said he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. What is your answer? What is your answer for this? Huh? Uh, tell me, tell me. Threaten you? I still don't know why you're so angry, but yeah, I don't want to blame you. You don't know why I'm so angry. So the Quran says he spread hatred between us Christians and you don't know why I'm angry. I mean, that's that makes sense. The Quran says kill the Christians, kill the Jews, slaughter the Christian, take their women. The prophet said if you see Christians spit in his face, the prophet cut hands, cut feet, the prophet raped our women, the prophet he took, it, it, it took a woman, she is married, already married, and he killed the husband, the father, the brother. And he made her walk in the top of the dead family of her own. And then, why you, are you angry? Are you? And I even don't hate you. Actually, so I... why, why you don't hate me? Why? Isn't it the Quran says that you will not find one Muslim who believe in Allah, who will not hate, or he will be loving to those who they are against Allah? Let us go to the verse. Here you see, how those Muslims they try to fool you by playing victims, playing that they are loving. You know, we are people who believe in love. We are people who believe in peace. We are people who, uh, 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 you know, we have a great religion. Chapter fifty-eight, verse number twenty-two. It says, "You will not find any people who believe in Allah." And the last day, loving those who resist Allah and His Messenger. Do you see it? But the guy in the video, he said, still, I love you. You are a fake Muslim, my friend. I'm so happy for you. Kim, he left Islam because obviously, Kim, he never joined Islam. Kim, he joined to a fantasy to make money from YouTube. He don't really know anything about Islam, obviously. He's a joker. He's an, he, he an opportunity guy. And he explained himself that he went to Indonesia. He noticed that most of his subscribers, 95% are Indonesian Muslims. So he converted to Islam and here we go. Business is good. What do you think? Isn't this what the Quran says? You will not find a people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger. So you came if you love your mother, according to Islam, you cannot be a Muslim. You are not a Muslim. Look, it says clearly it's about your family, even though they are their father. Do you love your father? Kim? Mm -hmm. Come on, Kim, be, be truthful. Do you love your father? Kim, for sure he loves his father, but the Quran says, no, you cannot. 
or even if it's your son or even if it's your brother which means your sister too or sister or your family or your tribe such a thing is not allowed in Islam and not for those who believe in Allah but came in the video he's playing victim he loves us he's not angry from us look at his face look how cute he is peaceful very peaceful uh, Kim, but, but you see you are not being honest you are being literally stupid and we are laughing at you because your lies doesn't work with us you know your lies can work with those who do not know anything about Islam but not with someone like me so what do you mean I don't hate you when the God of the Quran chapter 5 verse 14 says I spread hatred and enmity between the Christians so what do you say to Allah are you going to say to Allah Allah you are not God for spreading hate are you saying to you to me that you are better than Allah and you don't hate me why Allah his job I mean guys look at this God he have nothing to do for living except spreading hate he is the devil if we ask him who is the one who spreads hatred he will say shaitan okay that's a good answer so why Allah spread hate between the Christians if this is not shaitan is it spreading hate between the Christians will make Christians better or worse? And if Kim complaining that there is Christians who hate him, which is not true, that's mean he have to blame Allah because it is Allah who spread hatred between them, as you see. And this is Quran. Kim. Kim. They victim again. But not with me honest to god i will make every single korean laugh at your conversion and i want you to stay a muslim there or be because of you we can give the flu shot for people in korea and you cannot deceive them for us we don't care about you even though we care for every soul but you can stay as a muslim but we will not allow you to deceive the christians in korea or even the Hindus, or even the Buddhas. Korea is a beautiful country, and we will not allow you to destroy it by lying to them about a filthy, cult, evil, dangerous religion is called Islam. What else you want to tell us? Don't hate you. Yeah, right. Actually, I don't understand why you're so angry. You don't understand? I hope you're happy. I deeply hope that God give you happiness and peace. Uh, uh, okay, we just showed you guys that Allah spread the hatred between the Christians and he wished that God would give me happiness and peace. <laughs> tell us more, tell us more. No comment. Because angry life is never... Angry life is never a life. I mean, have you ever seen a Muslim is not angry? I mean, go watch all the Muslim videos. Zakir Naik. Yeah, Zakir Naik. Why the Christians are not equal to Muslims? Brother Sitar, first of all, the Quran said that the Christians are not which means they are dirty and clean. We are najis, we are dirty. And you are saying to me, I don't understand. I know. It is you Muslims who never have happiness. You cannot stay without cursing people. Can I ask you why you are cursing us five times a day when you pray? Oh, I forgot. You are stupid. You are reciting words in Arabic. You do not know what they mean. I got you. It's okay. I will let it go. Happy. What is this? You will play for me music now. Uh, we told you music haram, my friend. You will go. You I will make you a monkey. Okay, now. Oh, perfect person. I still make so many mistakes, and I regret and reflect too. And that's why I'm still learning. So. What? What? What does that mean? I mean, guys, did we ask him about his mistake? What this guy is talking about? We are asking you questions about the belief you are promoting. You are making videos saying Islam is wonderful. So we are asking you how wonderful it is to cut hands. How wonderful it is to stone women to death. How wonderful it is to uh, to cut the head. How wonderful it is to cut the tongue. How wonderful to put nails in the eyes. What's wrong with you? Isn't Islam wonderful? So tell the Korean the true Islam. Don't lie to them, says beautiful recitation of the Quran. Bring a singer with nice voice. Even if he's singing about a chicken, the song would be nice. I mean, you can blame me, uh -huh. but it's not fair to blame Islam because of my fault. Because people make mistakes. Oh, you can't blame Allah for saying, kill the Christians. You cannot. You can blame Kim. Because Kim is the one who said that, not Allah. You cannot blame Allah for saying, 
take their women rape their women take their money torture them split the women to piece when she's alive cut the tongue take eyes you know we cannot blame allah you you can't blame kim i thought we should blame the jews Ah, maybe he did not reach that degree yet. But it's not Islam's fault. Right? It's not Islam's fault. It's not Islam's fault when Allah says kill the Christians and force them to pay money and humiliate them. And when the Prophet says, if you see a Christian, don't initiate Salam and force him to walk in the sewage. This is not Islam's fault. This is CNN fault, media, media, propaganda, lies. This is all is lies. Okay. I don't want to find this wrong. That's what I want to ask. I mean, please don't play for me the stupid music. Stupid idiot. It's not yours. And I pray and fast for a God who you don't like. But no, 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 no. A God who don't like us. We just showed you that your God, he hate us. You see how you switch things upside down? A God you don't like? It's your God who said all garbage about us. Saying we are animals, saying we are dirty, we are filthy, we are criminals, we are cattle cows we are cows for Allah it's your God who don't like us and then you say but I'm still your neighbor what 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 and I pray and fast for a God who you don't like but I'm still your neighbor the Bible says love your neighbor as yourself and stop the Bible says love your neighbor as yourself so you leave I believe teaching you to love your neighbor. Actually, you are quoting the verse wrongly, my friend. You are an idiot. The Bible says even love your enemy. It been said to you, love your, you know, but I say to you, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. So they might, so might you be the son of your father in heaven. Do you see it? It is Jesus who said, love your enemy. So you are following a prophet who says, if you see a Christian or a Jew in the street, spit in his face, force him to walk in the sewage. And now you are quoting a verse from the Bible to convince us to love you, which you do not need to do because we love everybody anyway. We don't hate you. You are just a stupid idiot. And you forgot that you are following a prophet who says totally the opposite. So as long as you are convinced that the Bible is the true and you just admitted that this is the way to be, Love your neighbor, not only your neighbor, I say to you, love your enemy. Not only love your enemy, but pray for those who pray. You see, we pray for Muslims in the, in the church. We pray for them not to die. We pray for them to have health. We pray for them to see the truth. We pray for them to be happy. We pray for them. You are following a guy who cursed the Christian, cursed the Jews. Okay, hold on. You're a prophet when he said I'm going to expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. They are his neighbors. Are you going to expel your neighbors who they are Christians from Korea if you take over the country? Or you are better than your prophet? The Messenger of Allah said, If I live, if Allah will, I will expel the Christians and the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. Those are his neighbors. So you are saying to me, I am still your neighbor. So what happened to Muhammad? What happened to his neighbors? He killed them all. Not a single Saudi Christian exists in Saudi Arabia. Zero. What happened? He killed all of them. He killed all the Christians. He killed all the Jews. And the lucky one who ran away for his life. And Kim, he says to us, I'm still your neighbor. And the Bible says, love your neighbor. No, my friend, the Bible says even love your enemy. And we don't hate you. You are joining a cult of hate. Faith religion. Who says, I will expel. Imagine, imagine if Muhammad said, I will expel all the Christian from Korea. Are you going to say Muhammad is wrong? Oh, you might say he did not say that. Well, he did. He was living in Arabian Peninsula. He was not even in Korea. So he was, if he was living in Korea, he will say that. <laughs> so Kim, everybody will watch those videos, will die laughing at your stupidity. And I want people to cut it pieces and make it parts 
and make a topic make title and when you download the video please don't give the same name I give because that will make them appear in the same page all of you you do the same mistake you download the video you post it as it is by doing that is going to appear all of them in the same page this is why I go search the title I find all the title in one page why because all of you you are downloading the video just posting it as it is so look at this guy he's trying to fool us by playing victim but it doesn't work he just exposed his prophet and gave us a golden opportunity to show that Muhammad is nothing but a filthy criminal. I am your neighbor. I am an ordinary person. I am a human. I am not the one who scares you. Okay, hold on, Mr. Human. Is it a human to beat a woman? Is it a human to beat a woman? Because I remember, you know, in previous video, this is why you're angry. I asked you a question. You said in a previous video that a Muslim woman, you ask her, why you wear hijab she said oh in islam uh, women she is like a diamond she's what terrorism so i also thought that they are dangerous and strict a lot of time passed actually i was a catholic but i didn't interest in any religion i was just busy at living my life but my bad thinking about islam completely broke down one day in Indonesia. I debut as a singer in Korea. I was not popular, but still. And luckily, I got a chance to have a promotion in Jakarta. We just showed you that Allah will make you a pig now for doing that. Okay, have fun. Anyway. In Indonesia, I really didn't know that. Actually, two things made me so surprised. First, they were really kind, than I expected. And second is that so many girls are covering their faces with bells. I didn't even know the word hijab. And you know, Indonesia is a really hot country. So I was so curious. So I asked a girl who wear hijab, why are you wearing scarf on your face? Did someone force you? And he said, I'm a diamond. Incredibly precious. So incredibly so do you think it's a human to force a woman to wear hijab in a very hot country is that a human behavior no secondly as long as she say to you she is a diamond do you beat your diamond kim i asked you before and you are avoiding the answer when you are going to start practicing the quran which is in chapter 4 verse number 34 it says beat your wife are you going to do that or not I think he will, but you need to move to Islamic country so you can practice it. In Korea, they will not allow you to do that, and you will, you know, they will take you to jail. But if you move to Pakistan, brother, or to Saudi Arabia, where Islam is practiced very well, you will enjoy beating your wife, as it says exactly in the Quran. Now, the Quran, by the way, when he says beat your wife, the Muslim they start give you their own uh, uh, fabrication, so they say beat them lightly etc all the garbage but the Quran is of hadith where it says it clearly that Allah he ordered the Muslims to beat them heavily how we knew that the verse itself because the whole idea of the verse is to force the women to obey you to force her it's a it's a terrorist act you know violent always is terrorism when somebody uses violent against somebody is trying to terrify you force you physically to be obedient to him so men are protected of women protect sorry the protectors and maintainers of women uh, uh, and as Allah he gave some of them an advantage over others so Allah is the one who made the women that the men are uh, you know an advantage they have a uh, uh, they have like a uh, translation here is very weird let me hold on this translation I cannot even understand what he's saying here we go Men are in charge of women because Allah has made one of them excel on the other and because they spend of their property on them. A woman in Islam, she is like a prostitute because you spend money on her, so you have the right to beat her. And good women, she is a, uh, so obedient, guardian to secret of which Allah has guarded uh, as for those who you fear, rebellion. What we do with them? Um, admonish them and punish them in the bed and scourge them. Do you know what scourge them mean? Oh, I am sure uh, Kim, you do not know. Uh, hold on. This is about dog and the donkey. This is a different one from the one I want to show you. Ah, this is a scourge in them, brother. So, Kim, when you are going to start practicing scourging like in Indonesia, this is in Indonesia, brother. Most of your subscribers are Indonesian. 
and they are practicing the most priceless teaching of Allah scourging women and as you said Islam bring a peace of mind to you it's a peace and for sure this woman she is enjoying the beating I mean come on we have to face it you see she is not screaming or she is by the way there's many videos about them stoning cutting hands beating women I mean disgusting and this guy is saying to us Islam Islam is wonderful Islam is peace Islam is amazing did you tell your mother that her husband can beat her from now on oh your father he did not convert to Islam but he might join you to make business or maybe your mother too I'm not saying they will do that I hope not but it's possible shaitan is tempting people to do things so what are you talking about hmm? women are diamond do you do this and if you have a diamond you let it shine you don't cover it and what kind of a diamond she is I mean this this is actually an insult to women because a woman she is a diamond if she is she, is, she is, that's me she we can buy her she is for sale she is just a stone and this is exactly how Islam see the women she is just a stone she is a sex toy this is why in the heaven Allah did not promise women anything except being in heaven but there will be there will be sex toys for men Kim shame on you did you tell your mother that she is half a brain did you tell your mother that the three things will interrupt a Muslim prayer? A dog and a donkey and the women? I wonder if you say that to your mom, what your mom she will say. I hope my our broadcast is doing fine. Yeah, it looks like we lost a little bit, but it's working. Did you say to your mother the truth that women are donkey equal to donkeys equal to dogs did you tell to your mother that in Islam just because you are a black color so you are evil as an example your prophet he says the black dog is the devil is that true brother do you have any black dog before it says they asked the prophet okay a man a woman and the donkey and the dog will disturb a muslim prayer he said oh, oh okay well they asked him why why a black dog he says because the black dog is shaitan brother is true according to science they found that black dogs are shaitan there is a scientist his name kim on in chong king cha home from norway he discovered that black dog is shaitan are you going to practice the superstition evil racist filthy cult teaching of allah and say to your mother that you are a dog you are equal to a dog and a donkey and you are equal to a black dog and if you walk next to me when i'm praying that will disturb my prayer and will destroy it ah i don't want to forget did you tell your mother that according to Islam we can have sex with the children at the age of six maybe you have a cousin she is in the age of six are you thinking about her now because it's what the Prophet did you marry her at the age of six and you have intercourse at the age of nine Alhamdulillah did you tell your mom that hmm so Kim is a joker he joined Islam a religion of a prophet who said the one who changed his religion kill him the funny a Muslim he posted in a comment underneath of his video saying how come people they are free to be gay free etc the second he became a Muslim everybody complain uh, ask your prophet how come he cannot leave Islam and now the punishment? Hey Kim, do you know that if you leave Islam, the Muslims, the peaceful Muslims, they will kill you? As you see, this is your prophet. Is that Sahih? It is Sahih. 
Is that authentic? It is authentic. Is it Sahih? It is Sahih. The one who leave Islam, kill him. Brother, I join the religion of peace. Brother, everything Mr. Kim turned to be true. He did not lie. He did not lie saying that Islam order him to love the Christians and the Jews. Look, yes, he did not lie, but the Prophet says, don't salute the Christians. Don't say peace. Force them to walk in the sewage. The Prophet, he says, kill them wherever you find them. Force them to pay jizya. Kim, he did not lie. It's us. We did lie. What else, Kim? You are disgusting. You are disgusting with your lies, not, you know. And I am not the one who want to attack you. No, it's not you. It's your prophet. As you see, he want to cut my hands. He want to cut my feet. He want to cut my tongue. He want to, he want to, he muted me. He want to kill my family. He want to rape my daughter. It's not you, you idiot. I'm not a monster and I am not a terrorist. You are not a terrorist. That's wonderful. But your prophet is idiot. And he is a monster too. A person who sleep with six years old girl, he is a monster. A person who says I've been victorious by terror from a distance of one month, he's a monster. So how come you are following Muhammad but you are not a monster? What's wrong with you? If I say to you now someone he have sex with the, someone in the age of six or nine, aren't you going to say he is a monster? But you are a coward, you will never do, dare to say that anymore now. I am just a person who wants love and peace. Peace. You see, you don't know how to say peace. I, it's okay. I understand. Me, myself, I make mistakes in English. It's not peace. Peace. And as long you mention, you said, I am a person who loves peace. I agree with it. Because in Islam, you have to love peace. Isn't it the Prophet who order you to drink peace? And I'm serious. I'm not joking. Hmm? Isn't it this is your prophet? He ordered the Muslims to drink the milk of the camel and the piss of the camel. You see, I understand you said the word piss in mistake that you love piss, but literally you do now because simply you have to obey your prophet and you have to drink the camel milk and the camel urine. And the Muslim they put between to a uh, bracket as a medicine. <laughs> uh, Kim, from now on, if you get sick, brother, uh, don't go to the hospital just to drink camel urine. And by the way, I saw Muslims right now they are promoting, and the price of camel urine in Turkey is fifty dollar for a little cup. Camel urine is the way to deal now with your disease. Let me show you. Uh, camel. <laughs> The BBC actually they have a study about it. I mean, uh, uh, like a, uh, a report about it, and how the price of camel urine is going skyrocketing. All right, here we go. The Iranian Islamic medicine specialist says camel urine can stop coronavirus. Drink camel urine to cure coronavirus. <laughs> but the World Health Organization says that the one who told you to drink camel urine is an idiot. You will die. Kim, for me, you are like a chicken who say bak, 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 but there is no eggs. And now everybody is laughing at you. I want, and please, if you are a Korean, anyone watch these videos or the videos you will see in the future, if you are a Korean, please add translation in the Korean language. We want the Korean to see the truth. So this idiot will not lie to the Korean and fool them. It's your duty to save your country. I cannot do it. I do my part. If you are a Korean and you are listening, you have a duty to translate those videos and post them everywhere. You can cut them pieces. You can make it short as you wish, but you have to do it. All right? Otherwise, the Muslims will take your sons from you by lying to them.
as you see everything that he's saying is based on lies and as you see we are showing you the evidence one by one in the screen and playing victim Kim will not help you you just made us laugh at your lies saying I am a Muslim who is about peace when Islam says in the Quran cry not for peace. be happy and that's what Islam teach me let's love and peace this is what Islam teach you let us love isn't it the Quran says I mean look at the music in the back just to, to lie to us to fool us in the Quran it says chapter 5 verse number 51 take not Christians and Jews as a friends you you idiot is that your Quran So let us love, let us be peaceful, let us love each other. That's wonderful. That's Christian teaching, not Islam teaching. But the Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends. And you in your video, you, you liar, you, you idiot. You are saying to us, let us love each other. You are talking to who? You are talking to us? Are you serious? So what we will do with the Quran? Are we burn it? Are you going to burn the Quran? But I also have my right to be happy and I have right to practice my religion. I wish yeah, but practicing your religion is mean it's mean to kill the Christians, to kill the Jews, to have sex with the children, and to cut hands, to cut feet, to stone women, to beat your wife, and to rape Christian women and do all the ugly stuff. No, you have no right to practice your religion. Because as you see, your religion is not about your rights, it's about our rights. Because your religion will strip every one of us from his right to be live as a human in peace. So shame on you to say, I want to practice my religion. And then you say, I wish your peace. I wish your peace again. You, you wish your peace. How you wish me peace when the when the Quran says, take not Christian and Jews as a friends. Why you are having double standard? So which Islam is the true Islam? The Islam is in the Quran or the Islam in the video of Kim? I will leave that for you, all of you. You make a decision, you decide which one is telling the truth. The Quran, Muhammad or Kim? Because obviously the Quran and Muhammad, they don't match what this kid he say. I don't blame him, he's just a kid. But in the same time, I will not allow a kid to deceive our kids. And if you are a Christian and you care, to protect your kids from what happened to this guy please download this videos translate to all languages you speak this is a duty for you if you think that will not happen to your child look what happened to this child poor kid because his parents did not teach him maybe he's he grew in a society he loved money he don't care how to make it uh, uh, i don't know but he is a victim for sure I am not against him. I have nothing to do with him. I will do my best to save him. And actually, I pray for him to see the truth. And the truth will set him free. But Kim, shame on you. Lying to yourself, lying to others, lying to your mom, lying to your father, lying to your friends, lying to the, the, the Korean, saying things does not exist in the Quran. At least you want to be a Muslim, at least be truthful. And read for them say hey I want to show you the Quran says from now on we cannot be friends why you don't do that because you are a fraud why you don't show them the Quran is that a teaching you don't agree with so what do you agree with I will be waiting to see how many of you will translate those videos to all languages I did my part God knows how, what I am doing, trying my best to fight this cult, but I cannot do it alone. God knows how I'm able today to do my broadcast. Until now, they did not fix my internet. My internet is still horrible. I'm waiting. It's my, it might take three weeks because they said they need to change the whole cable in the street. Imagine. So I'm doing everything I can. And we need always. To protect the truth it's not about this kid it's about all the kids it's about the safety of the world this is a faith religion as you see why why a Muslim cannot be my friend I don't have a problem to have him as a friend no for Allah is the devil 
And if we became friends, we will not kill each other. As simple as that. So Allah will not allow that. So he said to the Muslims, never take them as a friends. For they are friends to each other. And if a Muslim, he says to you, I'm your friend. If he mean it, that's mean he is not a Muslim. As you see, he among you who take them as a friend, he is one of them. Which means he is a Christian. So if Kim, he is a truthful and he have a Christian friends and he mean to be a friend for them, according to the Quran, Kim left Islam. This is how evil your cult, my friend. Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. I have no problem to have a friend. He's an atheist. He's a Hindu. He's a Muslim. He's, but now because of Islam, I know Islam teach that Muslim cannot take me as a friend. So I cannot trust a Muslim a friend. Why? Because I know he will not accept to take me as a friend, even if he says so. Because imagine how the Quran, how evil it is. If you go to chapter 3, verse number 28, and by the way here this is chapter 4 verse number six, uh, 65 I was going to talk about it where it's speaking about having sex and marrying and divorcing children who did not reach the age of having menstruation it says here because of their young age imagine this is a different topic but just I remember it in chapter 3 verse number 28 it says that a Muslim he can lie to you say to you that he is your friend but in his heart he is not therefore a Muslim he can lie as long his heart is different from what he say which mean he can say to you I am your friend but as long he don't mean it and read this is the interpretation of the cousin of the Prophet the filthy Prophet he said that a Muslim cannot a believer cannot take non-believer as a friend however the one who take the, they call us the hypocrite, we are the hypocrite, and the disbelievers as a friend, he has no connection with Allah. He has no honor, which means Muslim can rape him, can kill him, can rape his wife. No mercy, no protection. Muslim can crucify him, can cut his hands, for he taking the Christians as a friend from Allah, unless it be that yet you guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, taking it as a weird security, saving yourself from them by speaking a friendly way toward them while your heart is like this. Have you ever heard of an evil more than this? Teaching people to say, I love you, but in his heart, he hate you. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, this is about wartime. In wartime, don't you lie to protect your, your, your family? Liars. As you see, those, they want to take me my friend as a friend. What wartime? You see how stupid they are even when they give excuse if somebody want to take me as a friend so how he is my in, in, in how I am, in, I am in war with him you, you see the lie they say this is what okay if you are in war with somebody and you want to you know they capture you don't you lie to protect yourself this is not about this this is about take not as a friends as a friends somebody in war with you he will be he want to be your friend so let the, let, let, the, let the Muslim not to take the hypocrite and the disbelievers as a friends. So what the problem? Taking them as a friends. So if they are enemy really fighting you by war, they will not try to take you as a friend. They will try to kill you. And this is not the case, as you see. So they have a very silly, stupid answers. And I am thankful for the Lord that he made anyone who followed the garbage of Muhammad have no smart answer, even if they try their best. Even the best of them, he found he, he will find himself silly, stupid when he tried to give an answer. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And I am so glad that the Lord allowed us today to have our podcast without disturb. And uh, we say I, I have a message to Kim. Uh, my friend Kim, I don't hate you. Don't be, don't be upset. I'm trying to save you. You see, if you have somebody, you care for his life. You might, you might say harsh word for him. You might say the word stupid for him because he's saying stupid things or doing stupid things, but not because we hate you. We don't hate you, my friend. The Messiah, my Lord, he says, love your enemy. So how I dare to hate you? How I dare to disobey his command? How I dare to curse you? I don't, my friend. I pray for you to see the truth. 
I pray for you that to open your eyes, and I pray for you that you will not deceive your own country for the sake of money, for the sake of making Muslims subscribe into your channel because you lost your job. I pray that the Lord even will provide you, will give you a good life. But my friend, you cannot have a good life by making money. Good life will come by being good and you are preaching the devil teaching, claiming it is good, and we got you busted. So this is what we did. We are getting the teaching of the devil busted. You are just a fool who say fool stuff, and you look funny and stupid when you say them, and now you are upset because I am showing everybody how fool what you said, or how foolish. So I'm doing my part to expose your foolishness, otherwise I have nothing to do with you, and I care for you to be fine, to be healthy. I pray for you, to your family, to be good, to be healthy. But doesn't mean if I care for your, uh, uh, you uh, to be saved, I will let you lie. I will not. Even if you're on my own brother from my own family, I will make a video about you and I will get you busted. And now let us see what Kim will say. He will make a video says, I am a human. I am not a terrorist. I still love you. That is Islam, which is a lie. And you know what, Kim? I want, I want you, I want you to show me. Where do you get this from? That a Muslim is not a person who believes in terrorists. When your prophet, he says, I've been victorious by terrorism. When the Quran says, I will install terror in the heart of these believers. Your God, Allah himself, is a terrorist. If we type the word terror, you just remind me about that. Chapter 3, verse number 151. We will install terror in the heart of the disbeliever because they took a partner with Allah. Do you see it? So you are not a terrorist, but you are following a terrorist. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, what about a God who said, I will install terror in their heart and we will cut their fingertips and their necks. I mean, Kim, do you like cutting fingers? I'm sure Kim is a very peaceful person, but because now he's a Muslim, he will be considering practicing Allah teaching. This is Quran chapter 8 verse number 12. I will install terror. You see here, they would fear the fact the word in Arabic is a rob. Let us change the translation or translator and you will see how the word terror appear suddenly. Why? Because they lie when they translate. I never, by the way, saw one Muslim translation is accurate. Here we go. We just change the translator and both of them, they are Muslims. Remember when Allah inspired the angel verily, I am with you. So keep firm with those who have believed. I will cast terror in the heart of those who disbelieve. So strike over their necks. Ah, Kim. Kim here like peace. And how peace happened? By cutting the necks. Beheading like, like ISIS, brother. I mean, why, why Kim? Why, why, why we are forgetting that Kim is just a practice in peace? Ah, by the way, this is the picture I wanted to show you. Your prophet, he says the three things will disturb a Muslim prayer. A woman and a dog and a donkey. And by the way, I love to have a farm one day and have a wife. And I have a dog and a donkey. That would be nice. But your prophet said this will disturb my prayer. Look like Allah. He have a very bad reception when you have those three. I mean, the Wi-Fi of Allah will not receive your prayer because there's a donkey which is very well known to disturb all kind of 4G, 5G, 2G, 6G, it doesn't matter. And dogs, brother, they are very good to disturb the Wi-Fi. Actually, the technician today, he came to my house and he told me that the reason you are not receiving good internet, and I said, okay, why? And I was like trying to find out why. He said, I saw a neighbor, she is beautiful next to you. Oh boy, I could not believe it. She, she is? He said, yeah, she is a woman. I said, oh, man. Okay, remember now, Allah, he said, the three things will disturb your prayer. A woman, a dog, and a donkey. And he said, not only that, 
the guy in the front of you, he have a dog. I said, oh man, dog. And then he said to me, the guy next to you, he don't have a donkey, but I saw in his door, he have the shoe of the donkey. What they call it, this thing, you know, the, the, the metal thing in the top of his door. He said, I saw it there. So you have all reasoning to have a bad internet. Allah will not accept our prayer, brother. If three things or any of them is exist, a dog and a donkey and a woman. And for sure, I am convinced with Muhammad being peaceful, even though he teach to cut necks and his God says so, and cut fingertips, he like to cut fingers. What's wrong with that? All of us, we like finger, uh, like actually, uh, there is many kind of food, it's called fingers. Hello? Shame on you. And I wonder now, how many people will be laughing at you saying what you said about loving peace and being peaceful? Because simply, it doesn't make sense for you are following the devil, Allah. Only the devil will say such a thing. Only the devil who believe and he is racist, who hate black people, he will say, anything is black, kill him. Muhammad, he said, kill every pure black animal. Black snake, black bird, black dog, anything. In the top of that came before we finish, I just forgot. I hope, my friend, one day you will go to heaven and you will have beautiful wives. More, at least 72 will be waiting for you. And not only that, brother, those women you will see the marrow of their bones. And trust me, brother, I was there. It's very beautiful. Actually, the most beautiful thing about the heaven of Allah, the Huris, who they are so white because Allah is racist. They are so white to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. How beautiful. And if you are not getting the idea yet, what does that mean exactly to see the marrow of the bones? I will do my best to help you to recognize what we are talking about. According to Allah, you will get this. Beautiful women there. A lot of them. And those women, we will see the marrow of their bones. And by the way, this is scientifically to be true. I mean, even Allah, he knew about x-ray. And your wife, she will do all kind of like dance for you. Look at this. All those things. So beautiful. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Shish kebab. MashaAllah. Brother, I see a hamburger inside her stomach. What is that? Brother, imagine your wife in the heaven wearing high shoes, high heel shoes. And you can see through the marrow of her bones as the prophet said so beautiful now i cannot continue because this is endless as you know the garbage of muhammad is beyond beyond counting we cannot count all that his garbage it's mission impossible please download the video cut it pieces change the name don't all of you keep the same name make topic depend in what i will say like make a video uh, uh, five ten minutes apart speaking about women uh, speaking about uh, uh, killing, speaking. So make different topic. And don't forget, always when we say to Kim, like as an example, why Kim? Why your prophet said, beat women? We play what? We play the part where Kim, the most powerful answer of Kim, what he said. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because Amazing. I am Muslim or because See? this is an answer which always I dream to hear perfect answer he got it all together in two seconds he did refute me are you scared 
Yeah. Are you in a bad mood? Uh -huh. Are you uncomfortable? Oh, uncomfortable? Are, are you scared? Are you? I mean, I mean, I don't know. I feel sorry for your wife if she if you get married or ever because obviously you are super smart and genius. Your wife, she will say to you, "Why you convert to a religion that says beat me?" You will say to her, "Why? Are you scared? Are you uncomfortable?" Oh no, 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 no. Hold on. The wife. She will come to uh, the, the fiance. Let us say uh, uh, Kim. He fell in love, uh, and uh, the wife she asked him, "Is it true the Quran says that you can beat me?" What Kim he will say to her? Huh? Why he will say to her? Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable because I am Muslim? Oh yeah, yeah. She will say you are an idiot. Yes, I am scared. The Quran says beat me. Yes, I am scared. The Quran says stone me. Uh, yes, I'm scared. The Quran says whip me. The, the Quran says uh, scourge me. The Quran says I am half a brain. The Hadith says most of us will go to hell. So, yeah, she is scared. Are you scared? Are you in a bad mood? Are you uncomfortable? Uh, hold on, hold on. Don't forget to tell your mom too. I forgot. I mean, I keep forgetting those things, man. Uh, don't forget to tell your mom that the Prophet, he says, women, they are half a brain. I think your mom, she is going to agree with him and she will love this teaching because this is really true, brother. Huh? Your prophet, he says that women, they have deficiency in their brain. So as long as you said you want to teach your mom about Islam, brother, can you do me a favor? And can you uh, teach your mom this amazing teaching of the prophet? That women they have deficiency in their religion and deficiency in their brain. And Muhammad he proved it saying to them, Yes, you have deficiency in your brain. Because simply, isn't it true that a woman she is not equal to a man as a witness? You have deficiency. If we search, you know, let us do this for those who want to find this hadith later. Let us say, uh, uh, Where we can let us see deficiency, huh? Deficiency. If we search for this word in the search engine, huh? Uh. Let us see. Here we go the hadith the prophet says he saw that most of women they will go to hellfire and they have deficiency in their intelligence do you think your mom she have deficiency in her intelligence brother must be true brother for sure no your mom she cannot be that I don't think so but you do Kim or you believe in such a garbage that a woman she will go to hell because she have deficiency in her brain and here you see how stupid Muhammad is because if this is true let us say, assume this is true if the women she will go to hell because of that reason and Allah is the one who created the women deficiency in her brain that means Allah is stupid and unjust because what is my fault if I am born this way and Allah will send them to hell because they have their menstruation you see they ask him what is our deficiency in our religion in our brain he said you have deficiency in your intelligence because uh, one woman uh, two women are equal to one man this is the evidence a woman she said to him what is deficient in our intelligent man in our religion he said it is isn't it not evidence that two women are equal to one man right uh akai sushi you want to call me well, we want to stop this video now so people can download it because already it became so long. And maybe if we come back online, maybe tomorrow, uh, Sochi, he can call me and we can have him. No problem. All right. Yeah. But my friend, anyone who says women, they have deficiency in their brain is being stupid. Because as I know, especially in the in about memory, women, they have better memory than men. A man, he will not remember what he ate in the morning. The women, she will tell you what they have in a party happened two years ago. What the women were dressing, the clothes, the color, the earring, the perfume. 
So the one who said women have deficiency in their intelligence, especially about witness, he himself, he is suffering from deficiency. And if God, he will make women go to hell because they have such a thing, that means does God have deficiency too? Because if he is the one who created them, deficiency is coming from the maker, not the one who is made. If I create a car and this car have a problem, that's mean I am the one who made the mistake. I am the one who created this thing. So what kind of a stupid logic to say women will go to hell because they have menstruation? What kind of a stupid logic to say that women they are deficient, deficient in, in, in their brain if I am the one who made them this way? Stupid prophet. Stupid God. Stupid religion. Anti-human right. Anti-women. Made by the man for the sake of the man. The whole purpose is to make the man feel better. For Muhammad, he care only for fighters. Women are weak. He don't care for them. So he said they are, de they are deficient in their intellect and their religion. And why? Because they have menstruation. And why? Because they have half a brain. What a stupid, filthy man you are, Muhammad. Shame on you. Shame on you to say that your mother, she have deficiency in her brain. Shame on you to say that your mother, she will go to hell because she have menstruation. What a stupid idiot. If not, the women having menstruation, your faith in Muhammad, you will not be born. You are born because of the menstruation of the women. You and me, we are exist because women, they have menstruation. If they don't, we will not. Stupidity is amazing. Thank you everybody for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian Prince was with you. And I appreciate all those people who support us by downloading, by sharing, by translating, and for sure those who help us in uh, 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 in other way. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And the liars are God busted. And no mercy with the devil. Bust him as you wish as you can as you can do never compromise with the devil never ever be strong be truthful be loving we pray for them yes we love them yes but we will not love their lies we will not support their lies and if somebody will accuse me of not being loving by exposing lies that's me because you have deficiency in intellect and reasoning that's your problem not mine thank you very much for being here Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again